I'm Steve from Alice Bigham, this is Mark, and we are here to talk about the Atomic Backland 100. Um, so this is a new ski for this season, and it's also a ski that's on limited release. It's only going into specialist retailers, so you aren't going to find it in that many places. Um, to tell you all the tech details, here's Atomic. The Atomic Backland 100 ski. This is a brand new ski this season from Atomic, and this is our ski that we class as a free ride touring ski. Free ride touring basically means it's a more fun touring ski. As you can ski, you can see the ski's got a full powder rocker in the tip and more tail lift. So it's a little bit less stiff in the tip than the Backland 95. It weighs 1400 grams, so it's coming in at a really light weight. If you team that up with the Atomic Shift binding, you've got a really good free ride touring setup. The ski features our carbon laminate construction, which is very similar to the Backland 107, so it's got the slightly beefier, more performance, more pop feeling to the ski. The ski is aimed at very much the uh, ad adventurous free ride tourer. So if you're up in the Scottish mountains here in, in Glen Shee, this is the perfect ski that we were on this morning. It takes, it takes ha hard snow really well. It works well on hard snow as well as really good soft snow. It's a very playful ski. It features a slightly stiffer tail than the normal Backland skis. So again, that's going to give you a little bit more performance if you want to push the ski. So this is the Atomic Backland 100. Feedback from the testers today has been phenomenal. It's probably been one of the most tested skis from Atomic today. The conditions, we had some fresh snow last night, so people have been getting on this in the morning, but they're also enjoying it in the slush here in the afternoon. You've got the tech info, now you want to hear a little bit how it feels. Um, we were very lucky because we got to ski this a few times last year. Uh, probably a big trip was there was a backcountry cat skiing trip to Kosovo which Mark managed to get himself onto. Um, built especially around backland skis I guess. Um, and This must have been one of the features of the trip. How was it? Yeah it was great. Um, basically the Atomic wanted to give us something a little bit different. They took us cat skiing which was unbelievable. Um, but really they wanted to show off their new kind of range of backland skis and kind of adventure skiing they kind of sold it to. Um, for me, they, they had the 95, the backland 95 and then the 107 in previous years and I felt like there could have been something in the middle just to tick that box and this sits perfectly in that box, 100 mil underneath the foot. Um, and the conditions weren't great if I'm honest. Um, we were hoping for a bit more powder, but we had some good guides and we had the cat obviously, so that allowed us to access some, some nice little stashes. Um, and I can remember being able just to sit back on the tails of these and just kind of let the ski go. It was super enjoyable. Um, good at high speeds, really maneuverable. Sometimes I pick up a tour aimed ski uh, and think, you know, is it going to be a bit soft? But absolutely not. Loved it. Yeah, I think for me, I, I always liked the 107 and I was always amazed at just how well the 107 skied, but I think most people were put off thinking it was too wide. 95, again, really good ski, but possibly a little bit narrow for some people. It just, it was more sort of tour focused than backcountry. And I think, yeah, the 100 has nailed it because it's took that, took that um, sort of softer snow feel from the 107 but not lost any of the usability of the 107 and just given it a slightly narrower waist so it's going to appeal more but it does like skiing it, it doesn't feel like you're on 100 mil unless you get it into soft snow um i love the way the horizon tip works that just makes it so easy in and out of the turn yeah a great ski for me and i think a really good backcountry ski to mount with a shift or a kingpin or something like that um, but actually, you could just use this as a free ride ski, uh, even a wider or mountain ski, but you'd be wasting it by not putting something on with a bit of uphill potential. Really good ski, definitely one I'd consider to put into my quiver. Um, yeah, so if you've got any comments, put them below. And if any of you had skied it, we'd love to hear from you. Or if you've got any questions, just yeah, type away. Otherwise, thank you for listening. <laughs>